In less than a year. Nigeria is now one of the biggest, the fastest growing economy in Africa. Because of few days after Niger was projected to become the fourth fastest growing economy in the world by 2024, and first in Africa, according to International Economic Outlook. Julius Malema has congratulated the Niger junta for the good progress they have made. This is after the coup, where the new government is selling raw materials at market price and kicking out France. This is what Julius Malema said. You can look at what they do in Niger. They take over through a revolutionary coup, remove the French puppets, remove the French, and then increase the price of uranium by huge percentages because France was stealing it and buying it with low uh, uh, amounts of money. Then the boys come and say, no ways, you're going to pay market price. As a result, in less than a year, because of political decisiveness, that's what politics can do. In less than a year, Niger is now one of the biggest, the fastest growing economy in Africa because of revolutionary act. So all these clowns that have colonized us don't need anything. They need a political will to say, this is us, this is where we stand. You either like us or you don't like us. But we are not going to trade with people who disrespect us. You are going to respect us and you are going to trade with us in this way. So that's you, the youth, who must radicalize the politics of the ruling party and the opposition and say anything that is not African, we're not going to associate with it. Including the, the coups that are happening in the continent where a French puppet is replaced by another French puppet, we must not support such nonsense. Like it happened in uh, uh, Guinea, Conakry, where a president is removed, we thought, oh, maybe there's something, only to realize there's another puppet of France. France who's coming to take over the country without introducing anything drastic and revolutionary to turn around the Guinea Conakry except to say, no, that president wanted to increase his years in office. That's why we stopped him. What is, what is revolutionary about that? Because this term of offices, of saying you serve two terms, uh, three terms, they are also not ours. They were imposed on us. So it must not look like when you say a person can't serve more than two terms, you think you are revolutionary. No. The people themselves will make their own setup of how they want to be ruled. That's fine. If they want two terms, it's okay. But don't speak like it's a God-given fact that we must serve only two terms because America said so or Britain said so. No. You remove a president in Guinea Conakry, replace it with a French puppet. You have a, a war going on. So many, I said to you, 1,500 Ukraine, Russia, 9,000 in uh, uh, Palestine. It, uh, I think it's more than that in DRC. In DRC, no one is saying anything because uh, uh, the barbarics, the monkeys are killing each other. We don't care. Let them finish each other there. It can't be. That if there is a different race being killed, there is noise. But when there are Africans being killed, it doesn't matter African on African or state on state, tribe on tribe. As long as there is death, people being killed, there can't be any amount of justification. No one has ever said anything about that death which is happening in TRC, where thousands are being killed no one can say anything. You know why? It's an African life. It's a cheap life. They don't care about it. So we'll have this conversation one day. These guys are showing me the time there at the back. Anyway, what do you think about this video? Subscribe and give us your thoughts on the comment section below.